Hey, what's going on? Eric Cortina here. So as you guys know, I love gear. I just love me some shiny <laughs> new gear. Uh, and I pretty much have, or I try to have, the best equipment available. Amp annealer, amp press, the works, right? So I just can't imagine them carrying a chronograph with them <laughs> everywhere they go. So anyway, Jason's gonna teach us how to get speed without a chronograph. Anyway, here's Jason. It's real simple, real simple. You just have to have an exact, precise, known distance, and then time of flight of the bullet, and you can get your muzzle velocity. Super simple. So just gotta do math, huh? Just gotta do math. It's a simple math problem. Trigonometry, you know, it's easy. Okay, you're gonna show us how it's done? We're gonna show you how it's done. So, obviously, am I correct? You guys don't carry a bunch of, like, chronographs and stuff? Nah, no chronographs. No chronographs in the military. Don't get issued one. <laughs> get a, what if you buy your get own? Get a Kestrel. <laughs> you can buy your own, but uh, you don't care. You don't carry a, a lab radar carry it. in your not carry it. in your pack. You don't make room for labor. We didn't. Uh, lab we radar. didn't have lab radar. wasn't around when when I was in. Like, towards the end of my career, they came around, but no, nah. we don't have the luxury of chronographs. All right. Well, let's uh, show us how it's done, man. Let's do this it. is interesting. The setup. 747, call is uh, 525, KRG chassis, easy tuner brake, and uh, we have a tactic cam here set up on the spotting scope so you guys can see the impacts, but other than that, pretty simple. You're just going to use an iPhone? Is that all we're going to use? That's all we need? Just a calculator. Just a calculator. Just a calculator. It's real simple. All right. Got to get my precise uh, range, right? Yes, well, sir. I'm gonna use geo ballistics for that. So shout out for to geo ballistics. Okay, so you're not even gonna use a range finder? Nah. So geo ballistics, because what he's saying is geo ballistics will give you. You can drop a pin to your target. So 566 yards. All right, Jason. So just to recap. When you take the shot, I start the clock, and when I see the impact, I stop. Correct. And then we do the math. Exactly. All righty. Perfect. All right, I'm ready. Let me know when you are. I'm ready. So do you do one shot or you do multiple? We'll, we'll do an average. Do an average? Five, f over five shots. Five shots. Okay. That was one. Let me reset. Go ahead. Exact same speed. <laughs> wow. Exactly the same all over again. Wow. That thing is dead nuts. Last one. Ready. Woo. That one was a little bit faster. Uh, so, 0 0.16, 0 0.16 times 4 plus 0.17 was the last one divided by five so the average is 0 0.162 0 0.162 yes sir so now what do we do from here all right so we're at 500 558 yards 500 yards no no would you say it was 562 i thought it was uh, oh wait 566 five what 66 okay so 566 so what's the math so that's in yards. We got to convert this to feet because we want feet per second, right? right? So times that by three. So 566 times three. Then what? Divide that by the 0.162. Oh, okay. 0 0.162. 10,481.48 feet per second? Yep. Holy crap, man! I didn't realize the 747 was that fast. Yeah, this thing's hauling ass, man. Wow, <laughs> that's impressive. That is freaking impressive. And I mean, the ES was so low. I mean, it was the same every Wait, time. There's just one one shot out of that that was off. Yeah, the last one. Man, this thing's fast. That yeah, it's awesome. That Minimal is freaking coil too for how fast these bullets are going. Wow. That's impressive. Flat shooting too. It's just freaking right there, man. I wonder why more people don't use the 7x47. I don't. 
They should. Look at it. I mean, <laughs> wow. 10,000 feet per second. That's over nuts. over 10,000 feet per second. That's crazy. Anyway, uh, so I guess this is the same at multiple ranges. Doesn't matter. You just, the, the key is is that the, you know your exact range distance from where you are to your target. That's key. Okay. Wow. It's all based on time of flight. Well, there you guys have it. If you don't have a chronograph, this is a real simple way to do it. All you need is, uh, I guess you need a spotter. No. Uh, Unless you're good. I mean, I can well, do it you myself. Well, you can do it on your own? Yeah. See, I got this little timer right here. Just oh, is it. that the crush it timer? Yep, that's the crush it timer. Oh, that's cool. This is the, uh, I see that now. I think I can flip it this way. There it is. You can see it. That's the crush it timer. 5x5 five five precision makes those. So that's the... Uh, oh, I see. So that's why you keep the timer there. I always have my muzzle velocity. That is freaking awesome. Anyway, that's awesome. Uh, I guess you... You know, everybody has an, a, a phone. So you can do it on your phone. Or if you have a crush it timer, you can do it with that. Alright, well... If you guys have any questions... Leave it in the comments. Jason, thank you so much for bringing uh, some of these uh, field tricks to us. This is... Uh, My pleasure. This is going to help. Jason, thank you. And uh, don't forget, April Fool's. April Fool's. <laughs> if you made it this far, wow. <laughs> Barrel life, we're, we're, we're done. We gotta, oh, yeah. We got to rechamber. Oh, that's... That's the downside. Barrel life is, is one shot. <laughs> we should have we should have brought a shit ton of barrels. <laughs> you gotta load ammo and barrels. Uh, anyway, oh thank you all so much. Like and share. You know that. See if you can get somebody with this video. Thank you. Bye bye. See you. And I mean I'm feeling me. Gonna make an ugly scene tonight.